new updates are coming to iOS and Mac OS. And one of my favorite features since I've been able to play with these new updates as a beta user has got to be continuity camera. With continuity camera, you can use your iPhone as a webcam and it's way better than any freestanding webcam would possibly be. In this video, I'll show you how. Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Krinas, a digital learning expert and the host of the Leader of Learning podcast. Now, I want to make a couple things clear. First off, continuity camera only so far exists for anyone who has the beta versions of both iOS 16 and the new Mac operating system called Ventura. But as a beta tester, I have access to both of these. If you're not a beta tester or you don't want to be, you should gain access soon, probably over the next few weeks uh, into September or maybe early October when these new updates go public. Along with lots of great new features in iOS 16 and macOS Ventura is this continuity camera. Like I said, it's one of my most favorite features because if you're a content creator like me, you might have heard before that the best camera is the one that you have at your disposal or is right in your pocket. And many times that's the camera on your iPhone or your cell phone. And so having continuity camera will allow you to use your iPhone as a webcam without any extra wires or software or anything. Let's dive into how to do it using iOS 16 and macOS Ventura. Here I am on my 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro and I just wanted to show you that I am using the beta version of macOS Ventura. Again, this will only work when you have or if you're a beta tester of iOS 16 with the new macOS Ventura. Let me get rid of that for a second. Now, continuity camera will work on any program where it asks you to use an external webcam. For now, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to open the photo booth and I will first set it up as if I am uh, recording this from my camera, the Sony ZV-E10, which is right in front of me. That's what I'm using to record right now. But if I wanted to use my iPhone and use continuity camera, it's very, very simple. So in whatever program you're using, find the way to change your camera source. Here in Photo Booth, I come up to the top of the screen and there is my camera. It also asks me if I want to use the native camera that's on the MacBook. But again, if you know MacBooks and their specs, then you will know that the M1 MacBooks still have only a 720p resolution on their camera. So this is really all you're going to get. Uh, that's as good as the MacBook camera is on the M1 MacBook. But what I want to do now is to use my iPhone. So if I click that option for my iPhone, here I am now coming to you from my iPhone. What's really great too is that now with continuity camera, you have some extra features or effects that you can turn on or off depending on how you like the look of how your iPhone looks as a webcam. Let me show you how to do that. Up in the control panel, you'll see an option for video effects. Let me turn everything off and just go through them individually. First off, you have three effects, center stage, portrait, and studio light. I'm going to show you portrait first. Right now, I have no effects on me. This is just the iPhone camera as a webcam with no effects or filters. As I turn on portrait, you can see it blurs the background behind me. So you kind of get that bokeh effect like some digital cameras will allow you to do where you are in focus or the subject is in focus, but the background is kind of grainy or blurry. I'm going to turn that off for a second. I also want to show you studio light. When you click studio light, what that does is it dims the background behind you. What I really love to do is actually use portrait and studio light together. And what that does is it gives you the effect that 
you or whatever you're featuring on camera is lit up or in focus or basically being presented, but everything behind it is kind of blurred out and dimmed. So the focus really is on you or whatever you're showing. Finally, the third uh, effect here is called center stage. And what's really great about center stage is when I turn that on, even if I move side to side or whatever I'm showing, I'm moving around, the camera that's internal to my iPhone will actually track me and follow me as well. Let me show you a little bit about what I mean. So I've turned center stage on. You can see it's kind of taking a few seconds to focus in on me. But as I move, and I'm going to take my microphone with me, the camera inside my iPhone will follow me. So I think that's a really great feature to have uh, if you're showcasing certain products where you have to move around the room. Maybe you're a teacher or instructor of some kind and you're standing at a, a board, a whiteboard, uh, and you're, you're demonstrating something or showcasing something. Really, really cool option to have. Once again, this is my iPhone using continuity camera as a webcam with no filters or effects turned on. And this is how I prefer to use it with studio light and portrait mode turned on. But wait, there's more. There's one more thing, one more feature of continuity camera that I really love that I wanna show you as well. And that is what's called desk view. When you turn on desk view, what that does is instead of actually showing what's in front of the iPhone, it'll show you what's below the iPhone. So again, if you're demonstrating a product and you have it on the desk or table in front of you, the continuity camera on the iPhone will pick up what's actually below the phone. Let me demonstrate. I'm gonna move things around here on my desk for a second and I'm going to put my keyboard down below. Let's say I was uh, demonstrating how do you do something on the keyboard. When I turn on desk view, it's gonna kinda ask me uh, where I wanna put the, the desk view. It says use the plus or minus controls. So let's do that right now. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in and out and uh, that's about where you know, so right here would be where the keyboard would be. When I start desk view, there you go. It's below my, now I'm holding it. Uh, you might not necessarily have to, depending on how you have your phone mounted and uh, how far away it is from you or from the iPhone. Uh, but this is me using the desk view on continuity mode and now I can demonstrate something if I had a piece of paper and I'm writing uh, you could do that too it, it reminds me uh, as a, an educator it kind of reminds me of the olden days if you will when we use like an overhead projector but that's how to use desk view as well it's a really really great feature you could still zoom in and out even as you're presenting and basically just uh, to turn off desk view you kind of just get rid of that screen and now you can go back to using continuity camera on the iPhone. Just a couple reminders. First, continuity camera is not available to everyone yet. So far it's only been a feature of the beta versions of iOS 16 on the iPhone and Mac OS Ventura on the MacBooks. However, it is a feature that's coming to everyone soon. The new versions of these operating systems should be available within the next few weeks, either uh, the beginning of September or late September, but pretty soon. Now, if you want to test them out or you're impatient and you just want to go ahead and start using them, I'll link down in the description of this video how to actually become a beta tester for iOS and Mac OS as well. I also want to point out that there are other ways and have been other ways to use your iPhone as a webcam in the past. Uh, I've used a program called Reincubate Camo, and I've really enjoyed using Camo, but that required at least one wire to go from my phone into the computer or into a uh, dongle that I have set up to my computer in order to use the phone as a camera. And with all due respect to Reincubate and their product, it's worked great, but there's really no need for it anymore. 
In the comments down below, let me know if there's any other programs or products that you've used to uh, use your iPhone as a webcam before. But I think one of the things that you'll really love about continuity camera is that it's completely wireless. There is no need for any wires or anything at this point. Uh, you can't see it, but my phone is just mounted on a, a mini tripod and that's it. Anyway, I hope you've gotten a lot of value out of this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. I also hope you'd consider subscribing to this channel to get more tips, tricks, and tech tutorials like this one in the future. More links are in the description below for how to follow me and other content that I put out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.